Hey. Hey. I didn't know you played the guitar. Uh, yeah, I just, I've been picking it up again. Uh, it's soothing. So you, are uh, you nervous about, um, Langston being out all night? Yes. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm staying up, waiting on Lola. Perhaps we could pass the time together. Shall I, uh, meet you downstairs? My room is more comfortable. Unless you would prefer downstairs. Downstairs would not be my preference, no. Bring your guitar. Talk to me and they're coming tonight. You sure? Because if you want to leave. No. No, I'm good, really. <laughs> they're really stoked about tonight. Why wouldn't they be? I remember when. I know. Me too. Things were different back then. All we had to worry about was just being together. You thinking about what's happening at the cemetery? Aren't you? Okay, uh, Dr. McBean will be acting as environmental health officer. Okay. The name on the headstone matches Hope Manning McBean. We'll need to check the nameplate on the uh, coffin as well. And just be careful with it, okay? My wife was supposed to be her mother. Marcy, what are you doing here? I know I said I would stay away, Michael, but I just, I couldn't. Marcy, there are health and safety regulations involved well, here, too. Well, I'm not going to get in the way. I'm not, and I know that you pulled strings to do this right away, Bo, and I really appreciate that. And I know that Cole and Star appreciate that, too, because we just all want to find out what happened. Yes, we do, but you don't have to be here for this. I told Star and Cole the same thing. Well, you were right to tell them that. I mean, they're really young. You know, they may not be able to handle this. But, but you can handle this. Come on, it was hard enough when we buried her. Yeah, it was. Michael, but I've made peace with that. I was supposed to be her mother, and I would like to be here for her. Please. You know she shouldn't have to be here alone, and Star couldn't make it, and she shouldn't make it, and I can do this. Michael, I can. I can be here for the both of us. Is it all right if Marcy stays? It's all right with you. All night, I've been thinking about what's happening at the cemetery. Me too, but there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, we don't want Mark and Lance to be worrying about us, because tonight is their big night. Hey, guys. Hey. 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 Oh, you guys are still here? Yeah, we thought you left already. Uh, no. Oh, well, what do you know? It's time to roll. You ready? Uh, uh, well, I mean, the room's prepaid. It's not like we're going to lose our reservation. You know? Sounds like Cousin Lang is scared. Oh, you don't want to cry about it, right? Oh, talk about a mood killer. Uh, no, Lola, that's you. <laughs> Get out of here, Lola. Are you high? Are you high? What? Me? No. <laughs> Did Asher give you something? Hmm? You want some? What does it do? Makes you feel good. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay? Where's Asher? Where is he? How should I know? He left you here? Uh, I don't care. I mean, I'm having the best time of my life. Well, if you took something as if you care. Okay, look, I, I know that we've been having our issues, but you're still my cousin. You I are still... not my mother, okay? She's dead, so just get off my back and let me have fun. How are you getting home? I don't know. The cab, my dad, whatever. 
Look, we'll, we'll drop you off on our way to the palace. No, it's fine. I'm fine. Okay, so you just go and have your night of fun. Oh, don't get popped up, okay? Because it'll, it'll spoil everything. Let's get out of here. I, can I just talk to Star real quick? Bitch, but I don't want anything to happen to her. Okay, would you stop worrying about her? That's exactly what she wants you to do. I know, but... Just... But what? You're nervous, and it's not about Lola. Tell me what a geek I am. You're not a geek at all. <sighs> were you nervous with Cole? It wasn't exactly the same. Cole and I didn't know what we were doing. But maybe that's the problem. This is so not spontaneous. Better off that way. You won't mess up like Cole and I did. But is it so romantic this way? Yes. Because you're doing it because you love each other, right? It's what love is all about. I just wish I knew more of what I was doing. You think Marco does? He better not. He was such a mess when he was trying to buy the condoms. But he did get them, right? Well, I had my own. For Dorian's, but oh, gross, I don't want to think about that. Listen, tonight is going to be fine. Actually, it's going to be perfect, and you are never going to forget it. I love you. I love you. Too. Is it time? I can't believe that Langston has decided to lose her virginity on prom night. Mm. Why didn't I forbid her to... Why didn't I just stop her? Because she knew that she would find a way. They're different, those two, you know. My Lola is very young for her years, but Langston is practically a woman. She's 17. My mother was 15 when she married. By the time she was 18, she had two children. Oh, dear. Which is not to say you should worry, because Langston has her eyes down the road, you know. There's no way she's going to get herself pregnant the first night she makes love. If I had a 17-year-old son who wanted to have his first sexual experience, it wouldn't be such a big issue. Of course, I would want him to have safe sex and respect the girl, but... I'd not be losing sleep over it the way I'm going to tonight. Yeah, well, it's different with girls. Why do you suppose that is? Well, because a girl is delicate. Do I seem delicate to you? You do. And so beautiful. And so, very desirable. You know, when you were trying to take Langston away from me, I hated you. I could have killed you. You nearly did. The scar reminds me every day. But the way I figure, you couldn't help it. Whatever you feel, you feel very deeply. Don't most women? You are not most women, Dorian. And as passionately as you hated me, that's the way you will love me. Is that a challenge, Mr. Montes? Is that a yes, Doctor? <laughs> 